So hello everyone, uh, my name is Peter from hwbot.org and I'd like to show you the Intel XTU HWBot integration, how it works and uh, what you can do with it exactly. So um, on the screen here we have the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility open on the System Information tab. And what it shows you is kind of the specifications of your PC. So you can find the motherboard uh, settings, you can find the processor settings, what kind of uh, operating system you're running and, and more stuff. Um, it also has a manual tuning tab, which uh, opens to all the different knobs and um, sliders you can use to adjust your uh, overclocking settings. So we have uh, the, the, the core settings with a reference clock, uh, we have the turbo ratios, we have CPU uh, voltage, we have IMC voltage, we even have the, the memory timings down below as well. Uh, and the most important thing, uh, the most important part of the Intel XTU integration with HWBot is actually located in the benchmarking tab. So the benchmarking tab is, is something new in this version of XTU uh, and it allows you to run a benchmark um, and have it upload to HWBot to compare directly with your fellow overclockers at HWBot. Now the interesting part is that um, this benchmark doesn't just upload the benchmark score, it also uploads uh, all the XTU profile settings. So essentially what you have is not only the benchmark score and the components it, it was uh, run, uh, run with, but also the overclocking settings. So you can see what kind of a ratio you were running, what kind of a voltage you were running, and so forth. Um, we call this the, the analyze functionality, and I think the analyze functionality is, the, without any doubt, the, the, the most important part of XTU integration with HWBot. Because it, it allows new overclockers, new, new people new to overclocking to to get involved in HWBot, to, to start learning how to do overclocking um, and, and to do it on a very, very simple, from very simple way. You can overclock from, from within this utility and then you can um, submit your benchmark score and get used to the whole idea of, okay, I, I overclock for performance benchmark scores. So um, we're gonna run through the entire process of the HWBot XTU analysis and show you how it works. Let's have a look at how the analysis integration works. Um, we start at the benchmarking tab. Um, down below you can see the, the monitoring graph and we see that the CPU is currently at the default frequency. It's running uh, 800 megahertz, which is the default frequency if you have speed step enabled basically clocks down to save power and to reduce the temperature of your system. Um, we know that if we look on, on the right side, we can see um, what the frequency is set uh, at under load. So turbo, turbo boost is enabled, and with four cores enabled, it will run at 37 uh, multiplier, which is 3.7 gigahertz. So as, in, as a summary, it's just running default settings right now. So what we're doing, gonna do is run the benchmark. The benchmark is based on a Prime95 workload and it's gonna put all the cores um, to stress. You can see that down below as well. Um, the active core count is four and the CPU utilization goes all the way up to 100% in small bursts. You can also monitor the CPU core uh, temperature, which is very interesting when you overclock. And you can see this is, this is some kind of a, a hot CPU. The benchmark takes about one minute to one minute and a half to complete at default settings. Obviously, if you overclock, it's going to be a lot faster. So as you can see, the benchmark finished and the score is 861. And it's very important to understand that this 861 is, is purely a value to estimate the overclocking performance of, of your system. It, it's not a real benchmark and it's not supposed to be used in reviews as a real, work, a real world uh, workload. So what we can do now is click on compare online and the XTU application will forward the score and, uh, and the profile settings directly to HWBot. So as you can see, we can choose between analyze, compete and share. The share functionality is just to put a dump of all your profile settings in a single page to share with your friends. Compete is um, when you just want to enter the HWBot rankings or you want to enter a competition. But the most important functionality is the analyze one. So when you click analyze your system, the, the, the engine in the back end is gonna look at, okay, what are your system specifications? What is the score? What are your profile settings? And it'll, it'll put you on a chart. 
this chart indicates um, where your system is located compared to other similar systems. So if you, if you look at the top, uh, uh, right above the, the graph, you'll see a couple of filters. So as you can see, we're now uh, tagged into the Core i7-4770K filter for all motherboards and everyone's profile is in there. Now, I already, I already tried uh, to overclock with the CPU a little bit and um, I can easily switch to my personal settings. I, I like this, this particular filter a lot more than the, the one that shows everyone's results because here you can actually track your, per personal, uh, your personal record, how well you've been doing sin since, the, since the beginning and, and maybe see how you can enhance your score a little bit. These profiles are the ones that you have attached to your account. So these are the benchmarks you ran, these are the settings you've used before. You can label any of your, any of your profiles with an, with an easy text. So this one would be, for instance, um, normal test. Normal test. So if I switch the filter twice, it'll refresh. And I, I can see that here it says normal test. So this would be my first test. Now uh, with this system, I've, I've been playing around with, with it before this video and I've made a couple of uh, my own profiles. So if I click on any of the profiles, I can, I can see what settings are applied or would be applied when I download the profile and apply it and I can browse through them. It has the memory specifications, memory timings, it has the turbo ratios. As you can see, the turbo ratio would be go up from uh, 39 to 45, which would result in 4.5 gigahertz um, setting. So um, I want to try out the setting and I'm going to just download it and open it with XTU. Now, when you download a profile from HWBot and you open it with XTU, it will automatically tell you what settings are being changed. So all those settings in orange are the ones that the are, are, are the ones that XTU is going to try to apply to your system. In case there is a there is a setting that is incompatible with your system, it'll highlight it on the third tab here, incom incompatible values. But in this case, uh, all the values seem to be working with this motherboard. So we can press OK and go back to XTU. We can actually browse back through all the settings here, through all the tuning settings, to check what is gonna be, what is gonna be changed. If we look at the Profiles tab, we can also see all the profiles we've saved before and we've uploaded before. So we can select any of these as well, click on it, then select Show Values, and on the right-hand side, uh, it will show exactly the same as it shows when you download a profile. It'll just show all the settings that, it, that are gonna be changed when you apply the setting. That's exactly what, it, what we're gonna try right now. Uh, we're gonna try apply the settings, and it says it requires a reboot. So, which is gonna reboot the system. So we've rebooted the system and we just wanna see if the settings with XTU have been applied or not. We're opening the application. And as we can see, uh, the memory is tuned in at, um, let's go down here, at, uh, DDR3-2667, and we can see that the core ratio is set at 45, uh, 45x, so it will run 4.5 gigahertz. So obviously we want to we want to see how much our system performance increased when overclocking. Going back to the benchmarking tab and click run, it, run again. As you can see the CPU temperature goes all the way up to 90 degrees, but when we check the CPU throttling it's still at 0% which means that the CPU frequency will always be 4.5 gigahertz. So there you have it. We went up from 861 to 1097. So again, we can, we can compare online and see where we end up. Minimize this. We're back here. I wanna analyze my system again. And we're all the way down here. It's not our best profile we had so far, but we managed to go up from all the way down here to all the way up here. Definitely not that bad. So this is the basic analyze functionality you get with XTU and HWBot. And we hope that as much motherboards as possible, we will be fully compatible with XTU. 
and we hope that you will find your way into the overclocking world with XTU and HWPOP.